Black Wall Street is now online, baby. That's right. Visit the GW District. Shop the very best in men's and women's apparel and accessories, home decor, office supplies, books, pantry items, and so much more. The GW District is a retail marketplace of black-owned products and media. We're both veteran and black-owned, and we're bringing you the best online shopping experience with products made by small businesses. Come and experience the GW District difference today at Shop gwdistrict.com that's shop gwdistrict.com the gw district a retail marketplace of black owned products and media that's right that's right that's right hello hey how you doing i'm good how are you i'm doing fine you're the first one that's successfully done the anchor and got into anchor on my past five episodes. Thank you. <laughs> it's not hard. I'm so confused. It was very simple. It, because I guess what happened is like when people sign up, they make the mistake to sign up as a podcaster. So when it hits the link, it takes them to, to start a show, not necessarily my show. Which I don't right. understand because you being a podcaster or whether you listen shouldn't make a dog on here. Cause you're on this, cause you're on the anchor app, but right, yeah. So, but I got to give you the speech. If things drop, which you're sounding perfect right now, which I doubt it would happen, and it drops too much, we will move to Skype. Okay, but okay. For right now we're gonna kick it cracking. So you got a shoot to do, this. You got a shoot to do, huh? Um, yeah, it's for my OnlyFans. Oh my goodness! So, so tell us about it. What do you want to know about it? You know, so what kind of shoot it is? Um, you know, um, say you work with the talents, it's so low. Uh, you it's know, a boy, girl, girl shoot. So it'll be me, another female, and then a male talent. Cool, 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 cool. So this is for your OnlyFans, not not a custom, but j- just to update your site. Yes. Oh no doubt, no doubt. So when you do your shoots and come up with your scenes. What? How do you come up with them? What were your thought process? Mm, I don't know. I try to put together a storyline because I don't like my scenes to be like you automatically just go into the um, sexual part. I like there mm-hmm. to be a build up and a storyline. So maybe yeah. I'm driving in the car and I think of a concept and then I'm like, okay, well, we're going to shoot that. It's kind of like that. Yeah, because, I mean, you got so much, you know, just fuck, 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 fuck. You know, people forgot that what made porn great was stories. Right, exactly. You know, and everybody got an experience that they can turn into a porn story. Right. You know, you know and plus the fact that you a drop-dead, gorgeous, thick-ass lady. I can see you play so many different scenarios. It ain't even funny. <laughs> I played a few different things for sure. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. What some of the things you had played? What some scenarios that you had played out? Mm, I played a best friend, a stepmom, lesbian lover, a daughter, oh, stuff like that. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh, I played a maid too. Actually, I forgot about that. It's like I think you ain't done porn unless you at least done one maid scene, right? <laughs> or at least done. The- Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm sitting here checking out your Twitter page now and everything. And um, it was like when I first ran across her, I was like, damn, she's she, she's she's stunning. You know, um, you. it was IG web. I didn't, I thought she was an influencer at first. Oh, and yeah, I know. know <laughs> when, yeah, because it's like since the rise of the content creator age, you, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes the people that are doing porn from the influencers, especially if you if you view it from Instagram. Oh, yeah. You know? It's definitely tricky to figure out who's actually doing porn and who's just content creators. Which there's nothing wrong with being a content creator at all. Mm-hmm. Some people want to keep their own stuff and some people would rather shoot for a company. So it's really up to you and what you want to do. Yeah, because because at the end of the day, if you want to go to the next level and have longevity, you have to drift into the porn world, into the porn star world. Yeah, because, absolutely. Yeah, because you got to evolve. You got to keep actually reinventing yourself. Mm-hmm. Almost. 
have you. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's a lot we're gonna get into with this interview because, like, okay. <laughs> because I'm sorry, you just damn. It was like when I started looking at your picture, I was like, shit. Then when I saw, you know, the threesome scene and you know, the threesome way scene with who? Balls, um, it was oh, you. Oh, Isaiah you know? Maxwell, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Jaden Star, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sitting there like, okay, <laughs> she got Isaiah Maxwell, who is alleged balls in her mouth. And I mean, you look so sexy with balls in your mouth. I'm just okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so let me get these particulars, and we can get this interview on the road, okay, Miss Lady? Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Smokers Lounge here on Anchor the Perfect app for anyone trying to start their own podcast career. All you got to do is download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm and start pro podcast today. I'm your host, Humble. I'm in between. Rap star. Y'all know what it is. Find all my links with one link. All my links.com backslash on rap star. Let me tell you about three wonderful sponsors that we got. The first one being the Facebook, the LS community, lsworld.com. Next up is the hottest online adult magazine in the game. We're talking about eroticism magazine.com. Get a subscription, get it paperback and mailed to you, or get it digital and you can just look at it on your computer. And last but not least, but black owned, I'm talking about excitebunny.com for you consumers, a new place where you can consume great triple X content. And for your consumers, excuse me, for your content creators, 90% profit, no hashtag problem. And give all for healthcare. And did I forget to mention they're black owned? So go to excitebunny.com, whether you're a consumer or a content creator, get a profile. Also, we're a proud member of the GW District Black Podcasting Network. Plus, why you at shopgwdistrict.com, why you listen to my podcast, go ahead and get some shopping done. You get the opportunity to buy black. I'm talking about 500 black owned shops and boutiques. Also, check me out on Skyhawk after dark TV.com as well as on the SGP radio, which is on the BGP LLC app, which you can download on your phone or watch on your laptop. Now I'm going to shut up and let this sexy stallion introduce <laughs> myself. So good. Um, my name is Anna Sky. You can find me on IG, Anna Sky with three Y's and a four. My OnlyFans is Anna Sky three X's, and my Twitter is Stallion underscore Sky. Oh yes, and fellas, y'all need to check her out because like she 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 she's amazing. So <laughs> so, how long have you been in the business? A year, not too long. God, I it, it's it's funny because sometimes do you ever get people think you've been in the business longer than a year? Yeah, for sure, all the time. Yeah, that, that's a damn good thing. That means how good you are. <laughs> Hello? Hello?
a boy girl scene i was like buddy like this is too much and we get ready to shoot there's a camera behind me and a light you know like it's like you know like the bright light every time i move away from it you see the light and i was like can i please move it and he's like you know after it's like you know you can take the camera out editing nobody's trying to do that no yeah I'm so sorry. No, no, it's all good. It your audio went out. So back from commercial break. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put a commercial there anyway, whatever <laughs> happens. So um what I was saying, yeah, because it's like the way that even when I'm looking at your page, I was like, okay, she had at least been in the business two months, three years. No. You know, you're saying it's literally that, been a year. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I mean, you done worked with Isaiah Maxwell. Um some mm-hmm. town and I see you done done some 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 top notch suits. So what brought you to the business in the first place? Ooh, somebody I knew like kind of like asked me if I wanted to do it. And at first I didn't because I was in a three year committed relationship. Mm-hmm. And then me and him separated, so I was like, fuck it. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> Might as well. You only live once. <laughs> she said, well, well, I ain't got no man. I Might as well go ahead and do porn. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Don't need to waste this good pussy. <laughs> Let's make some oh, money with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we, so you seeked out what was your first shoot and your introduction to the business? Uh, Cherokee. Yeah, I saw I you. I saw for Cherokee's website. Okay, we about to unpack that because that's one of my favorites, and I had the pleasure of meeting that gorgeous lady. <laughs> no, she's awesome. Yes, because you work for a legend. Now, mm-hmm. when people, when we say cut our teeth, that means your first shoe. Right. Um, walking in. You know, first of all, how did y'all run across each other? Let's begin there. Um, on IG. And she hit you up. Yeah. Um, oh her cameraman spotted me first, told her about me, and then she wanted to shoot me. So at that point, we set up like a shoot in LA. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now. First of all, did you know who Cherokee was prior to her contacting you? Yeah, I knew who she was and I knew who Pinky was because I used to watch their shit. Oh my God. So I know your mind was blown like shit. Cherokee oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I was nervous to meet her for sure. Okay. So walking into the shoot, I tell paint the picture for us. You know, your emotions, how you was feeling, what you was expecting, you know, what? versus what you got. To be honest, I'm a very sexual person, so I wasn't nervous about having to sleep with somebody I didn't know. It didn't bother me in that way. Mm-hmm. I don't look at sex like a lot of people look at it. So mm-hmm. for me, I was kind of, I think my own hope of not looking at the camera too much. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I wasn't, I wasn't scared or nervous or anything like that. The only thing I was nervous about really was meeting her. I didn't mm-hmm. care about the male talent I shot with or anything like that. Oh my goodness. So uh walking in, because I knew it was kind of surreal, you walking into a set. I know she had to set up with the cameras, the lights, or what have you. Right. You know, also the male talent. Because um unlike doing content trade when you do paid shoots, mm-hmm. you don't op- have the opportunity to meet who you about to fuck. Right. So what's some of the things that the Mel Tyler producer and even Cherokee did to help loosen you up, relax you, and make you feel good about being on camera? And some of the things that, that you know what I'm saying, y'all might have talked about prior, you know what I'm saying, prior to the shoot or shooting. Like I said, I wasn't nervous about it. I didn't mm-hmm. need like 
lessons or to be warmed up. I think the only we went over like our do's and don'ts, me and the male talent. Mm-hmm. Um other than that, there wasn't a lot of communication between me and him. We did our job and mm-hmm. we left. No I keep it very professional and short, so <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure impressed Cherokee. Because oh, you know yeah. you, had, you know you had some girls to get digmatized off the dick that get fucked. <laughs> oh, that's not my personality. <laughs> not my so, thing. So, who was the guy that you work with? I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, I'd damn. Rather not. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to go and watch it, you can go on Cherokee's mm-hmm. website, but mm-hmm. I'd rather not mention the name. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So, this being your first time you was in front of the camera, what's some of the things that you learned that you took? with you into your own business from working on camera because a lot, a lot of people don't realize when we're filming is a purpose behind it. It's it's methodicalness behind it. It's it's it ain't just we fucking because we also gotta be mindful of the cameraman's angles and all that good stuff. But some of you I would say like positioning my body because sometimes I would look I've looked at my old stuff and just seen like oh damn I should have like moved this way. I shouldn't have looked at the camera. Why wasn't I arched more? You know, it takes mm-hmm. practice to perfect anything. So, yeah. I've definitely gotten better. I can say that. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm saying just looking at your, 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 some of your videos, just, you know, the, your intensity on camera, the way you look at camera, the way you move and stuff, it's like you took to it like it was second nature almost. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? You know, people like it was natural. So, um, because a lot of people don't realize when you filming, it is exercise, it's a workout. Yeah. <laughs> you might be <laughs> because some of the positions are not very comfortable that they want to be in. Or you have to be in for the shoot to get the shoot, you know, to get the, the angle you want and the thing you want. Mm-hmm. You know, so, um, right after that, when did you start thinking about doing your own and working towards putting out your own? I'm pretty sure you had that conversation. I'm pretty sure Cherokee dropped some knowledge on you. No, I mean, I did OnlyFans before I shot for Cherokee. I just did solos and fetish only. Oh. And mm. then I decided to start doing Boy Girl after I shot for her. And my first content boy girl scene, it was actually a boy girl girl, and it was with Mother Phoenix and Slim Poke. That was oh. my first content scene. Oh God, yeah, I heard of Slim Poke. So yeah. it was like, so you jumped from, so you was already doing content. You just yeah, but it was just like content. solo and fetish. That's it. So she, you already had camera experience. So it, it because to be yeah, honest, point, with you, it's different when somebody's recording you and you're fucking on yeah. camera though. But it's kind of, you kind of learned your angles because even with solos, you got to angle yourself even for the camera. Mm, I, I would say no. <laughs> I learned my angling messing mm. up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. That's how I learned my angling. Oh my God. So, shoot. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, so, so you said, so your first, that was your first, your first content shoot was with Phoenix and Slim Poker. So, how did you connect with them and find them? You know, um, I knew, I knew Mother Phoenix before we started doing um porn. So mm-hmm. okay, okay. And they had a slim poker bit brought into the into the deal. Um, I asked him if he wanted to shoot with us, and he said yeah. <laughs> so I'm he pretty sure he, was, I'm pretty sure he won't go say no. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Some of these niggas are a little Hollywood, so you never know. I'm just saying. Yeah, that that is true. Because, <laughs> I mean, because even with this business, it's like dudes try to stick with what their fan base is used to. Exactly. Very few guys try to, you know, step outside of their brand for so much. You know, period. Mm-hmm. Like even BBWs, you have talent that'll fuck a BBW off camera won't fuck one on camera. Right. No, period, man. I mean, it's everybody's so, personal preference, but I'm not really the type to ask people to shoot like that, but I did with him. Mm-hmm. Almost definitely. Oh, no, I doubt you had to act shoot. You probably get your DM probably get hit up on a regular. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a bunch of fans that 
yeah. want to be content creators, so I ignore it. But yeah, yeah. Which brings me to this point because you walked in the game not dealing with just the average dicks. You was dealing with professional TTS <laughs> porn dudes. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that shaped how you pick the guys you shoot content with. So because I know they're gonna be guys on this this interview and probably mirror the episode that you might be that you probably appear on on the podcast. I bring uh-huh. back. Mm-hmm. Um, how do guys need what they need to bring to the table to work with you? How they need to approach you, all that. Mm, okay, well, I'm going to be honest. I'm at a point in my career where I'm, if I'm going to shoot content, it's going to be with <laughs> actual male talents. I'm not going to shoot with you if you're a content creator who's never been on set. Because yeah. content creators, most of them cannot stay hard or get their dick hard. And I'm not a fluffer. I'm not going to sit there and get you hard. You need to be hard when it's time to shoot. Mm. See, and see, too, you also kind of got spoiled because, like I said, you walked into the game working with the top, the best, the best. Mm. And <laughs> I don't know what to I mean, I mean, I mean, to keep it 100, I mean, come on, Slim Poker and I don't know who the dude might have been. Slim but I'm Poker, pretty... it's Slim Poke, sir. Slim Poke, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Slim Poke. He gonna hear this, he'll be like, when I see that dude, you know, I'm gonna have to have a, you know, you gotta say my name right, you're gonna say it on your show, bruh. Right. <laughs> Slim Poke. You yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> But but no, but uh, but no, but like I said, because I'm pretty sure you kept with that thing of working with. Like, what other top talent have you had uh, the pleasure of working with? I mean, if, if you after I worked with him, I realized that my fan base was growing, and I couldn't really work with men who weren't well endowed. Mm-hmm. I tried doing that one time, and they were making fun of the gentlemen. So, hell yeah, my because don't like about that. Big <laughs> Big dicks and fat I mean, to be dicks. honest, though, <laughs> before doing porn, I had porn sex dick. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's nothing like special to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure you attract a lot of big dick dudes. <laughs> um, you you look actually, like you, you, you lately. You, you, it's been a lot of um <laughs> small dick energy, and they're worried <laughs> that they won't have enough dick for me because I do porn. So I'm in between right now. Oh God! See, we we gonna unpack that later. Because <laughs> I don't care. You are spoiled because when you do it with a vanilla dude, it's kind of like you kind of gotta bring it, bro. <laughs> I I mean, yeah, I agree. You kind of gotta bring it. <laughs> you can't be weak. Did you see her video? Oh, you got one of my favorite type scenes with the the, the yoga pants. Rip. The what? The, uh, the yoga pants. Rip. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 With uh, Davina. Yeah. Yeah. T- tell us about that. Because I what? love scenes like that. Like the what, like what was the setup? Was it was like a workout video or? Um, it was like we fucked our yoga instructor. Mm. Yeah. I, I love scenes like that. <laughs> it was a hot scene. Oh yeah, it, because I'm sorry when you see somebody like rip the jeans or rip yoga pants and he's fucking up through them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you also do the photo shoot after they get the pictures. You know what I'm saying? I can take the pictures after they was ripped so they can get that that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's everything. So, but um. With you, because you was already, you know, saying doing the OnlyFans and stuff like that, did you notice a boost when you started dropping the boy girl? Yeah, and I'm honestly, I kind of wish I never did boy girl on that platform because now, when I don't feel like doing boy girl, yeah, they don't want to see solos, they don't want to see pictures, they don't care about mm-hmm. fetish, they want to see me get fucked or suck dick, and that's just irritating because mm-hmm. I don't be wanting to do it like that. Yeah. See, because the thing of it is, is that once they get that taste, and see, mm-hmm. too, also, you do what you do. That might tell you about it. Anything that you take off the table that you're not going to do, you got to do the other shit that you forget. And you are good at it, that they're like, I don't want to see her fetish. I don't want to see her soul. I don't want to see her. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. So, shoot. So, what other stuff uh, within the business that you Okay. Webcam, um, 
Here, she's a guest. Okay, can you say that one more time? Because you're starting to break up a little bit. No, I'm sorry. No, I said, uh, what other things did you do within the business? Like, you know, webcamming, you know, phone sex. Uh, I've done webcamming. I've done stripping. Mm-hmm. 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 Stripping. Now, what is before porn or? It was before porn. I was 18. Oh, my God. So how did you? <laughs> so tell me about your first time in the strip club. Working. I'm, I'm say that one more time. I'm sorry. No, I said, tell us about the first time in strip club when you was working. Mm, an older gentleman got me to do it. He basically recruited me, and I was young, dumb, naive. Mm. And I was like, yeah, I want to strip. I want to dance on the pole. And <sighs> I mean, I I ended up doing it for a couple of years, but there was other stuff involved with it. But yeah. I was young when I started doing it. I did it until like 22, 23. It was all right. I've never really been a nervous person like that, so I wasn't scared, but it was just weird. Yeah, I'm just seeing, like I said, scrolling through your Twitter page. Yeah, you, you a bad chick. You a bad chick, mama. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> because, because even to the point that, like, when I'm looking at you, you exude sex symbols. And I a lot think of people that's say that. Yeah, because I think that is lost in this day and age. You know, mm. that, and I think that what makes girls stand out is having the professional look, having the professional photos, and does, you know, look. Right. You know, period. Speak to that because, like I said, a lot of girls don't understand that in order to play the part, you, in order to be the part, you got, in order to play the part, you got to be the part. Right, exactly. Yeah. Or go ahead and speak upon, you know, expound upon that. Huh? No, I say expound upon that, about, you know, the look, the image. I mean, I feel like I have my own look. I feel like it's new, um, unique. I don't feel like I'm trying to look like anyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, I do agree that you kind of have to have some type of sex appeal. You have to have something that makes the men want to pick you and spend money with you because there's millions of girls that are doing this yeah and see and two, you kind of just have to be a very sexual person i feel like and have a sex appeal yeah because um because the whole thing is you want to be wanted by the masses you right know? and you know and you got to have a it's not just your swag or sex appeal but also the wig you may wear Makeup, you know. I tell girls about, you know, it's okay to wear heels. Yes, dudes like to see women in heels, because mm-hmm. when you're a porn star, you're not only just, you know, someone that fucking up. You're also a model. You're also an influencer. Because especially nowadays, because women got to basically become more business oriented in this, versus back in the day where girls didn't have to worry about business being business oriented because they had so many paid gigs out there to get. Right. And they had to worry about their content or what have you. So it's right. like, you know, I see you put a lot of investment into your look. From Absolutely. Outfits and the whole nine. So speak to investing in the look that helps you make more money. Because I'm pretty sure your look helps you make more money than some of these other girls. I mean, I'm not here to like talk about other people, but I definitely I mean, invest in my brand. Yeah, on my show, we 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 want you to throw roses, baby. We want you to talk that shit. So talk your shit. Go ahead. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, like I said, I invest into my content. Like I get my makeup professionally done. That's what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I pay for a nice location. I pay for a, a professional cameraman. I only <laughs> shoot with good female and male talents. I'm very particular about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like if I started doing like camera phones or just having a camera set up shooting my shit I don't think it would make me as much money I can tell you that I feel like my fans appreciate that I put so much time and energy into my yeah. productions yeah and and for a person that had a cameraman to his disposal for 15 years it's a beautiful thing ain't it <laughs> yeah it is because I'm sorry I used to hate doing I did kill these but I used to hate doing because you can't see as much with a POV as you do with a camera. And I mean, it, don't get me wrong. I've sold POV before, and you know they're gonna buy it because it's me in it. 
mm-hmm. but I prefer somebody shooting my shit. That's yeah. just me, though. Yeah, because I'm sorry, you you can't beat that good cameraman. Him moving the camera around, getting different angles, especially yeah. if if, if yeah. you and the man have worked together, y'all got chemistry. Yeah, no, I yeah, I I personally prefer a cameraman, but I know other people that could care, like they don't have a preference. It's whatever, mm-hmm. but that's just not me. Yeah, because I mean, I did POVs. Don't get it twisted, because I mean, I know they would sell, but if I had the choice. Give me that good cameraman footage. <laughs> Give me that. No, good. yeah, my cameraman's very, very good. Yeah, I can see. I can see. I can see. I can see. So <laughs> how often do you film? I'm sorry? I say how often do you film? Um, oh, I feel like I need to film more because I don't mm-hmm. film. I, okay, the last time I filmed something, I think, was May, and mm-hmm. it's July, Okay. I was filming a lot more last year, like a lot more last year, but I kind of slowed down because it was a little overwhelming towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. And this year I told myself I wasn't going to do as much, but I mean, I try to shoot at least once every two months, Mm. but I I do like more than one um, scene like this trip. I'm doing three different scenes. Now, now, do you think that because of your quality, you don't have to shoot as a high frequency as some of these other girls to keep up? <laughs> I... <laughs> no, I think I do need to do that, but I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the time to do it like that. Like I have mm-hmm. a, a life yeah. um, outside of this. And I know like my fans they're always asking me, when are you going to put out more stuff? And I'm just mm-hmm. like, soon. So I do feel like I need to shoot more, but I just don't have the time like that. See, now I'm going to keep it real with you. And this has been me for 15 years. Because the quality that you put out, I think your frequency is not bad. And the really? reason why, because one, the biggest mistake and people are missing is building the anticipation. Right. Because you at the rate that you film, you're building in, in you know what I'm saying anticipation and anticipation in between. That's the reason right. why you like we want to see more, we want to see more, you know, period. Right. There's a lot of girls that sit here and film every day and the guys don't sit there and say we want to film more. Actually, they burn they they burn out their fan base because right. they give them too much content. And there's such thing as giving them too much content. Oh, no, there for sure is. I agree to that. Yeah. I just so, feel like I could do more than what I'm doing, yeah. personally. See, they're, they're just the hustling, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. They're hustling. Spirit. Like, nah, I can't make a more money doing shit. I need right. some do some more. <laughs> but, I mean, I have some new stuff coming, so they'll be all right. No, no. So, shoot, so I see that you, you do anal, am I correct? I, I did that one time. Did it one time. <laughs> I'm not out here just doing that. That was the first time I've ever done it. Mm-hmm. And probably the last time. So. Oh, God. It, it, it wasn't it was that, that good of experience. Well, I'm not going to say that. I mean, the person I did it with, he's a good male talent. But um, mm-hmm. I feel like that's something I need to do in my personal life more to try to get like more comfortable with it yeah, before I try it. to do it on camera. Because that was the first time I've ever had dick in my ass. And that was a big dick. So you didn't just put your toe in the pool. You just dove in that motherfucker. I dove in. Exactly. And I at first. I was not okay for like a week. <laughs> like, Ooh, I can believe it because from, from the dicks that I see that you taking, yeah, I can believe it. It was your first time too. Computer no. really, <laughs> you don't really how much no. prep you do for the anal anyway. Uh, yeah, I was doing a little much, but it sold very, very well. So I'm, I made my money. Oh, I'm pretty sure of it. So, um, because point is, it, I say it's becoming more extreme. Because it's like you got the you know. Of course, twenty twenty two has became the year I've dubbed the year of anal. I'm hearing more girls saying, "Yeah, I want to do more anal things." Question I ask any female is because we always talk about brand. Mm-hmm. Because you have a brand. 
how do you stay on bread? But yet you fed the bread. You're you're cutting out, so can you say that one more time? No, I, what, what I said was, how do we stay on brand, meaning what work, but expound upon it without hurting the brand? What do you mean? Can you elaborate a little more? Like, for example, you have girls that sit here and say, like the fetish girls. You have some fetish girls that sit here and say, I can't do girl because I'll be fetish. So I mean, fetish on I feel like... Fetish, but you, you get what I'm saying? Your your fans are gonna tell you what they like. You're gonna know what sells for you. For me, girl, girl does not sell for me. They do not give a fuck about me doing no type of shit with no bitch. Okay, they're like Anna, where's the dick? They don't give a fuck about any of that. So that's something that does not work for me. You know why, right? Why? Because, because you have a look that we they they want to see you get dick down by a dude. Right. It's like your thickness plus you, 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 I'm trying to play this better. It's like with certain females, guys look at you like, okay, yeah, we love seeing another chick. You have you have a look that feel that now we don't want to see you another chick unless you all because sometimes the fact is love and you you know what I'm saying, I'm talking to you, especially if like you like if you watch your video you blow job. It looks sexy as fuck. And I'm a, lot of, a lot of girls can't you're, master you're... making a dick suck look sexy. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it's they just yeah, they don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> like actually today I'm doing a um I'm doing a girl girl, but mm-hmm. the girl girl turns into me getting fucked, so I'm hoping that will be better. See, yeah, cause, cause, see, even with me as a man, I can't watch a girl, girl, unless there's a strap on involved. Okay, well, say, you better not watch when I'm about to put out, cause there's a strap involved, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see some big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love big dick energy, so I. <laughs> oh my god! So, people, you know what time it is? It's, 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 it's that time for that segment that everyone loves. This is the time of the show where the pussies go dry, the dicks go limp. Let's talk about the business. So with that being said, this lady has been in the business for a year. She's been dealing with OnlyFans. So the biggest misconception is that people think you come in making a shitload of money doing this. And it's easy. Ain't much effort. You know, people don't understand... The, the shit, the easy part is the filming. The hard part is getting that scene sold. And it takes more than one scene to make you a check. So speak to the work that you put behind the camera to end with sales for the stallion. Um, uh, I'm not trying to make anything sound easy, but for me... Mm-hmm. I don't want to like make men or females out there think like they can just start doing this and they're going to start making money right away. But for me, I did. So I don't, (laughs) I'm just talking about like what I've been through my experience. I made a lot of money right away. So. But but it it like put it this way. Is it because I'm a big proponent of energy. Is it because the energy that you generate, my um, I think I'm just. Uh, uh-huh. I think I, I came into it like. I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know why it wasn't hard for me. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I think that. Um, after my first, two, I just gained a fan base, and my fan base kept growing and growing and growing. I think that I put on a good show when I did my first shoot. I showed them, like, how I, you know, give head, how I take dick. I think that, I don't know. I just came in knowing what I was doing. I wasn't scared. Yeah, because, and see, too, also, you came in on a huge platform. Because Cherokee's platform is huge. That helped, too, for sure. Yeah, And, And when a legend like her puts a stamp on you, 
it made you automatically everybody want to see, okay, let me check out this Anna Sky. Okay, she was on Cherokee. Because think about it. Cherokee just don't work with anybody. She worked with the best of the best. Why say, hell yeah, you get me. She saw some serious potential, mama. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Most definitely. So, so when it comes to like uh, your site or what have you, the only fans, is only fans the only site you have? No, I have um, mini vids, and then I have X videos, but I don't really promote X videos because it's like for broke niggas that don't want to give me money. So <laughs> I don't really. Well, they if they want to watch my shit for free, they will figure out where to find it. I'm not here mm-hmm. to promote my free shit. <laughs> like that's just how well, I feel. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> I totally understand that because I'm on X videos, and the only thing that's free up there is a bunch of damn trailers. Everything else they got to pay for. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the red side. Yeah, the red side. I mean, it's it's good money. It's good money. Um, I, I and I wouldn't tell nobody uh, otherwise because someone asked me why mm, I. I feel like for X videos. Oh shit. Right. Hold on. She she doing business, ladies and gentlemen. See see now you know she a business woman. Yeah, dang it, because she had the business doing the podcast. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you mind getting her? A mine? Yeah. And I don't know where she would park. Do you have her phone number? Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. Okay, yeah. yeah. So now what you were saying about X videos? Yeah, I feel like for X videos, I don't think people can just make money right away on there. Mm-hmm. That's just me, though. I don't I think mean, X videos is an easy platform to make money on like that. Oh, no. It, some platforms, like, for example, when I first started, I did cook for sale. It took me a year to get, it took me six months to get a sale, a year to get a check. But then. Yeah. I mean, it took me a month to get my first payout, but yeah. um, yeah. I mean, you you a woman? I make more money. You're like, hey, okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. More money than we do. <laughs> um, I mean, it, duh, it's like this. If you don't get a check in the okay. first two months, you start this business. You need to reevaluate yourself. If you're a woman, that's just my opinion. So sorry, I'm in the middle of like ten things right now. I apologize, you guys. Uh, oh no, no. no. See, I, I I don't mind this because y'all seen how you know business. You know what I'm talking about? We 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 stay working. Right. Um, what was your question? Yeah, no, I was. I forgot what the question was. Damn, I damn near forgot the question. Oh, okay. I, 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 you, looking at you, take this dick in your mouth is is throwing me off. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, but what I was saying was, um, now nah, with any platform, it's finding what works for your platform. Mm-hmm. Period. Um, because even like with me, what really meant like back in the day when Chris sale had where you could sell DVDs, that where my money really was coming from back in the day. You know, period. And then like I said, now sites change because they change, they change the money of how you make it. So like for example, Chris for sale took away the membership. Right. Which was a big seller for me because people love memberships. A lot of my families like memberships. They don't like right. cookies. So now my ex, well, not ex house, is now Fop House, Mini Vids, and my, my, and both of my standalone sites are more of the money makers, and my cooks for sale them fell off a little bit. So now I have to work on getting that back up. You know? So it's kind of like it's, it's finding out how it works. It, anything you do is going to take time, but but you late like what I said. What I think what I said. I used to the female side, but you didn't get the first two months. Right. Because, it's a little easier for women to make money in this business than men, and y'all have more ways of doing it. 
Right. You know, period. I'm like, trust me, I, I sold some solos, but she will sell way more souls than I ever will. And that's right. with her fans want to see her getting fucked. <laughs> 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 so, and plus the fan base is a different. You know, people right. don't take that into account. A lot of male times can't understand you. Have a fan base, sorry. <laughs> I mean, male talents fan, but most of their fan base is gay. So they kind of have to be a gay population. No, excuse me. I'm sorry, you're cutting out. I said ninety percent, if not ninety five percent of our fan base is gay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So she, so um, what other things did you plan to do to expand? We went to other parts, but like genres, do you like to expand, expand into? <laughs> Say that one more time. You're cutting out. No, I was saying what other uh, genres like BDSM, bondage, uh, you know. Game banks, any of that that you're looking to expand into with your content? <laughs> I want to do a gang bang. I want it to be like 10 guys. I don't know I like when it. I will, but I'm going to eventually. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. So you can, have, you know, something, it does not surprise me. You could probably handle all 10 guys and put them down. That, probably not, but thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try my best. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Like, once you get messed up, you, you, you go. <laughs> yeah, can, that's true. I, I, I can see that <laughs> in videos. It's kind of like, once you're in the moment, you, 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 you lost. Kind of like, um, uh, on bike boys, what's, uh, my man. Dead, you know, smoke. You know what I'm saying? He get, he get in that zone and all he sees the finish. Right. So, you know, and then also it's like, um, also I like the fact that you take modelish <laughs> pictures. I what? You, know, you take pinup type pictures. Pinup? You know? Oh. Yeah, pinup. Yeah. He's not, I don't know. Shit, I, I'm sitting here telling you because because trust me, I don't see no selfie, but so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I said you be the, you, 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 you be the part, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I like females that they take the business serious and they're professional about this. Shit. Yeah, that's definitely me. Yeah, most definitely. Peace. So I mean, um, oh damn. So, how many threesomes did you Threesomes? I've done a lot of threesomes in my life. That's kind of normal in my life. Um, you can go. So, are you a swinger in your personal life, or? A swinger? No, I'm just poly. Just poly. Oh. Swinger club. Ew. Ew. They're like, oh, like I don't want to go in there. That's a big belly white bed trying to fuck me, though. I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm poly. I... I'm okay with dating um, people who are dating other people. I'm cool with being with a man and a woman. So. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you attract both with no problem. Um. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm bi curious. I'm not fully bi like that. <laughs> You're like, you the type of person, you walk in the room, men and women just turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the type of bitch it is. <laughs> so it's what I what I love is that I've seen more black people talk about poly, talk about BDSM, and talk about the different lifestyles. You know, so through, yeah. I've never really gotten into BDSM. I'm extremely dominant, but I would like a man to change that. But I haven't met Ooh. that yet. Okay, what type of man would make you submissive? I would want him to like whoop me in bed. Mm. Stop, girl! You speaking to you speaking to my dom side, girl. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you should like, oh my god! Because everything. Yes, I'm a porn star. I'm a dom. I'm a podcaster. Oh wow! Yeah. I'm a master of oh, Not a jack of all trades, a master. Master, but. Just like you didn't master the art of disappearing in porn because you just made it so far. Mm-hmm. So, 
Um, have you went to any? She's down. She's at the duck. She's here. Both y'all are I'm so confused right now. I can't think. Okay, I'm sorry. I have like ten things going on. I apologize. No, what it's all have? good, baby girl. I. <laughs> I was listening to y'all laughing. <laughs> you can't be laughing. No, I, damn, I forgot what the hell I said. <laughs> I did too. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my um acquaintance that's downstairs. I'm mm. trying to tell this guy to come get her. He's mm. on the phone. I'm on the phone, and she's doing my makeup. It's a lot going on. Oh yeah, you you work with Nate Nasty. I interviewed him a while back. Who? Nate, Nate, oh, I Nate thought you said something Nasty. else. Yeah, I shot with him for Cherokee. I did a blow job with him. Yeah, I, yeah, I had an uh, interview with him. Shane sure interviewed a lot of motherfuckers. Damn. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he was cool. Great male talent. Most definitely, everything. So, but like I said, are you planning to go into any convention? Are you into any convention? Not really a convention type of female. I've had a lot of people um, ask me to go, but I'm not quite there yet. Most definitely. Shoot. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure um, when you do decide to do a convention, probably you, you, sometime in your first convention will probably be either the X Biz out that way, with the yeah. X Three or your ABN, since you're out that way anyway. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. You ain't going to the Urban X Awards? Nope. See, see, I, I see you. You kind of like me. I, I don't like being out and about for so much. <laughs> no, not my thing. Most definitely. So I'm not going to hold you up because I know that you got work to do. Okay, yeah. and um, nice. you're going to be interviewing uh, Mandy May uh, in an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 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 y'all working together, so. Be it that you had to push yours up, it probably would make sense for yeah. Actually, I could do her right after I get off with you if she ain't well, busy. No, she's actually at the airport Ubering oh. over here, so she needs oh, at okay. least an hour. Okay, okay, then cool. I, all she got to do is um, either you hit me on Instagram, and let mm-hmm. me know she's ready, and I can send her the invite via Twitter. Okay. Everything, and um, right. now with that being said, before you go and before I do my outro, tell everybody where they can spend money on you. Um, <laughs> you can join my OnlyFans. Like I said, it's Anna Sky Three X's. You can send me something on my cash app. It's a uh, stallion. No, it's <sighs> Sky the Z- Sky the Stallion Zero. Um, or you can email me and do a personal booking. My email is annaskybookingsxxx at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better go and get that personal booking because I'm pretty sure the pictures don't do it justice when you see it in person. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, can I call you a smoke <laughs> buddy? Can I call you a smoke buddy? Because I want to bring you back because it's a lot that we didn't even get to touch on. Yeah, that's good. See? Y'all heard it. She will be back, and I will bring her back not only on the smokers' lounge, but also to the premium smoke room. Four ninety nine a month, the subscription base. Talking about six podcasts, people, and she will be on there. And on there, Miss Lady, we get a little bit more nasty, a little bit more raunchy, and way more wilder. You know what I'm saying? Sounds and good. Videos will only be on Spotify. If you see her face. With smoking lounge attached, it will be only a trailer on YouTube, people. So you want to see the full video, you better subscribe today. So with that being said, life is a learning experience. What's the point of the experience? You didn't learn anything. <coughs> this over. Thank you for coming to the lounge, baby girl. Tell everybody goodbye. Thank you for having me. No doubt. Can't wait to bring you back. Thank you. Sounds good. No lie, this is the best dispensary in Oakland. They have a wide range of flour and eighth starting as low as 15 bucks. Have a Heart is the premier recreational cannabis dispensary in Oakland. They carry only the best California produced flour, cartridges, pre-rolls, and more. If you need help ordering, their dispensary staff is extensively trained to answer any and all questions you may have and help you find the best weed products specifically for you. 
they have great in-store options as well as in-store pickup where you order online and skip the line. They deliver cannabis to Oakland, Emeryville, Berkeley, San Leandro, and Alameda. They're located at 709 Broadway in Oakland, 94607. Monday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Great shop, great selection, great prices, great people, great vibes.